Hi everybody, this is Devin Gregg. We are Kips Easy Keto, hashtag Kips Easy Keto. And we are coming to you tonight live from Elk Mound, Wisconsin. Tiny little village in the Midwest, um, not too far from Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin City area. So um, tonight we're going to show you how to make lasagna. We like to try to find um, meals that are the whole family will like, number one, that are easy and pretty simple so that it doesn't take you forever in the kitchen, right? So if you're watching us live, you're going to see the little red live up in the corner. Um, please drop a one and let me know that you're live. You do that to me all the time and then I get distracted. I was looking at names. Okay. Um, if you are not seeing the live up in the corner, you're, um, you're watching a replay. So just hey, hey, replay and let us know where you're coming from. So beautiful day here in Elk Mound today. Um, I got to actually go outside and work for a while sitting on the deck. So let me know what the weather is like in I your area. Work. Yeah, Greg got to do yard work. He got to put up, um, we like put a gazebo up and put some lawn furniture out. So we got all that out today, which means it's really getting to be springtime. Although one year we got burned, right? Was it like early May and- it had a heavy snowstorm and it crushed tore the our roof. gazebo, yep. <laughs> so we're, it's not gonna happen this year though. Nope. So um, thanks so much you guys for hopping on. I see Anna Lee is on there. I see Don. So, um, I'm going to let you kind of take over and explain what we're doing here. Like I said, yeah. lasagna, simple, easy. Um, if you are not following us by some, for, um, you know, for some reason, and you would love to, so you don't miss us every Tuesday and Thursday at 5:30, tap between our faces here, and the three little dots will drop down, and you can hit the follow button, and then you'll be sure to catch us live every Tuesday and Thursday. Yep. So, there you go. We make lasagna. First of all, I pre-cooked the hamburger so it won't take forever. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some marinara sauce and um, some Italian seasoning. I'm going to mix the Italian seasoning in with the sauce. Makes it, uh, I think it makes it um, mix better when you put it in with the hamburger instead of sprinkling on top and stirring around. So we'll mix that in here. It's about a pound of a hamburger to a half a cup of marinara, or a cup of marinara. And then we're going to put that right in there. And then we're going to, I'm going to have to be excused because I'm going to go back to the stove and get this warmed up a little and cooked, you know, so it mixes the hamburger and the sauce. So, well, I have to hold on a second because she's busy. <laughs> well, I can mix it while, while I'm waiting. So, and then once we get this, uh, I'll, just, I'll just set over there. I made the noodles ahead of time too. It only took uh, 20 minutes for the noodles. Um, and they, they're like that. Well, we call it noodles. And this is going to go in between the layers of the hamburger and sauce. And this is made out of cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, eggs, and Italian seasoning. You bake it in the oven. And then you can lay it in between your layers of the hamburger and sauce and cheese. Right. So I'll get this cooking here. Okay. So um, what I wanted to let you know is that we do keep all of our recipes in a um, in a private group, and uh, it's a very safe group. No keto police in there. Um, nobody's scolding you. So if you're, like, we are lazy keto, lazy and dirty keto. So. Um, you know, sometimes you go into a strict keto group and they might kind of, mm, they don't like that because they're pretty strict about what they're eating. We are not, we have been dirty, lazy keto since the first day that we started, um, which fits our lifestyle really well. And between the two of us, we've lost probably 55 to 60 pounds. Um, we have loved this lifestyle because it has totally changed our looks, number one, and number two, I'm trying to find a picture here to show you. Um, this is what we looked like shortly before we started. So um, we have lost probably as many inches as we have lost in weight, but I think the benefits that we get from this lifestyle, um, the better energy has just been phenomenal. Uh, we have nine grandchildren and just trying to keep up with them, you know, sometimes can be pretty challenging. So 
Let me see who is on here. I want to say hi really quick. As soon as you're done saying hi, I'll bring Hi, you. Jessica. Bring Thanks for over. hopping on. Amanda, Shar, um, thank you. Um, okay, so. Get oh, up. false alarm. Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't get it all. You didn't get it all out. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. All right. So, here we go. There's the. So, so now explain to them, you just brown the hamburger and you put onions brown in? Brown the hamburger, it? put onions in, and marinara sauce. Marinara and, sauce. And uh, I like to spice it up a little bit, so I put a little garlic salt in there. Salt and, or powder? It was garlic salt. Oh. So that, otherwise you could put salt, pepper, and garlic powder in there. So. Well, that's true. So first we start out by putting a little bit in the bottom of a, as you see it's for baking bread. We start out with a thin layer down in the bottom. So I did. I was telling you guys about the group where we keep all of our recipes. This recipe is already in that group. So if you would like to have access to it, drop me a friend request, and then send me a message that says recipe, and I will make sure I get you in that group right away. There they go. So what's next? Okay. So then we're going to put a layer of our noodles. And that there. again was so the the noodles were four ounces of cream cheese. A half a cup of mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, cheese, two eggs. One and a half cups of mozzarella. Oh, one and a half, okay. Two eggs and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Okay, and you mix that well. Actually, you put it into like a food processor, right? And made it into like a liquid. Yeah. yeah, it actually does. You know, I thought it'd be a little thicker, but it's about the consistency of paint, I'd say. You know, if you're... So then we put in a layer of our meat? mixed meat between that. I'm pretty excited about this, you guys. I mean, I love lasagna. We have made the zucchini lasagna in the past. If any of you guys have done that, I mean, if you like lasagna, if you like zucchini, um, let us know what your thoughts are on that particular one. And then you, on that, it, on top of that, you put um, mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella. If you like a lot of cheese, you put a lot of cheese. If you don't care for too much, you can. It's it yeah. varies. It says we up the cheese one cup, so We up the cheese. <laughs> And then there is the some ricotta. Yeah, I got the oven on. Okay. You got to bake in the oven for 20 minutes. So then we have some ricotta cheese. We're going to put some of that in there. It's cost for two, uh, three tablespoons per layer. So it's a total of six uh, tablespoons. So you got to kind of space it out. Not saying I'm spacey or anything, but you know. It's you are. There. I mean, there's lots of ways to make lasagna right if you guys have made lasagna keto style before kind of let us know what what yours is like um do you use turkey burger we've done that in the past we've made it with zucchini noodles um yeah, there's, okay, there's just a lot of different ways to make it so this one's been tried and true by a really good friend of ours and so we're pretty excited about it um she says the entire family loves it so this is one that you could make and I'm thinking fussy kids and even fussy hubs, husbands. Some are, some are. They no. don't like the keto lifestyle. So yeah. I'm thinking that um, I had my doubts. they might not even I had... know. Right? Yes, so, you did have your doubts. Now we put another layer of uh, noodles. Meat. Meat. Well, I put a layer of noodles in there and then oh. you put the meat on top of the... It's about, about one third because you're making your layer in here and then you want to leave some to put on the top. So you spread that out on your noodles. First, you got to cut noodles. Noodles, they are noodles. Oops, and then we sprinkle a little more. A little more cheese. A little more cheese, depending on your. Hey Margaret. Hey Louisa. Hey Sally. Ashley. Terry. Thanks so much, you guys, for hopping on. We really appreciate it. And then a little. Then the last three uh, tablespoons of regato. Ricotta. Ricotta. Well, <laughs> you're not Italian, are you? No, <laughs> neither, neither am I. So I don't know. <laughs> so you put that on there. So um, another thing I'm always curious about too is what stage of keto you're in. So um, let us know that as well. Let us know: Are you like beginning? Are have you? Are you pretty comfortable with it? Do you have some favorite recipes? You know, let us know some of that information. Um, like I said, we've been doing it for a year, so mm -hmm. we feel we're pretty experienced at it, but 
uh, we have stuff to learn yet. I mean, every day we're learning something new. We're always looking for new recipes. But just let us know. Are you um, early keto? Are you lazy keto? Are you strict keto? Looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. And then Very the anxious. last one goes on top. And then we put the, the rest, rest, of the of, rest of the sauce goes on there. So you guys, you can see this is pretty simple. Um, we are probably going to be putting this on our YouTube channel as well. And that is also called Kip's Easy Keto. So go and watch for it out there if you want to um, watch it. Or you can catch the replay here on Facebook as well. So A little bit more. And then the last layer of cheese. Can I get the rest of this out for you? Sure. My beautiful assistant. Yeah, so before we came on, I said to him, my apron is dirty. <laughs> I had a spot on my apron. <laughs> he wanted to know how that happened because I don't do much fucking, so <laughs> I don't know how that happened, dear. <laughs> and the rest of the uh, mozzarella cheese. And then we bake this at how long? 350 for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. There it is. We, yes, it looks... Oh, 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 it was very close. All right, guys, that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, we love to keep it simple because I know from my own personal experience, if I don't keep it simple, if it takes me a long time to cook something, I'm going to start to lose interest because I got too many other things going on. We're busy, busy, busy all the time. And I'm assuming most people are, especially if you have kids at home. So, um, like yes. I said, you want the recipe, send me a friend request, and then drop me a message that says recipe, and I'll get you into the group right away so you have access to all those amazing recipes. Our group is about 300,000. Actually, we just cleared 300,000 people. That's a lot of people who are living a keto lifestyle, and it's a ton of support and tons of resources in there. So, it's something you're going to want to be in. So, send me a message. Let me know. Right. Um, let's see, of Denise, April, Tony, Joyce, what kind of noodles? We made our own noodles, Joyce. They're made, um, yeah. they're, they're made with, um, they're four ounces of cream cheese, it's one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese, two eggs, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And you put those in a food processor and you blend them really, really well. You spread them out really thin, you spread that mm -hmm. out, it's like a real thick um, yeah. liquid kind of. Yeah, spread, spread it out. Spread it out in parchment paper on a, like a baking pan baking or cooking sheet, sheet, nine sheet. By 13. and cook it for 20 minutes and it comes out so you can just cut it into three slices and you layer them along with the cheese and the uh, meat. Then. Right. So it's real simple. It is simple. So that's it. Thank you. Mary Jo, thanks for hopping on. Hey Linda. Hey Robin. Um, take care you guys. Thank you so much for watching us. We really appreciate it. We know everybody's busy, and the, the nicer it gets out, the closer to summer it gets, you're all going to get busier. So watch the replay. Thanks, you guys. Hey, Mary Rose. Hey, Bob Larson. Hey, Christine. Hey, Brenda. Uh, hey, Penelope. Oh. Thank you. You guys take care. Have an awesome evening, and we will see you here next Tuesday night with another surprise. Have a good weekend. Thank you.